What do robots, computers, and crime solving all have in common? It's a part of the Adventures in Computer Science Camp, and it's happening right here at Purdue. Let's check in on these junior cyber detectives and see what they are up to. Tell us about the Adventures in Computer Science Camp. This is the 15th year that we've offered camp. It's gone through a few different iterations over time, but this year we're offering a week-long camp, and it's open to students in grades 6 through 8. What is the purpose of this camp? The purpose of this camp is to engage middle school students in computer science, to talk to them about what computer science is, to show them some of the excitement and the really interesting things that they can do. So to do that, we have lots of projects and activities. You can probably hear the project and activity in the background. Uh, but one of the things that we're doing is showing them how they can write programs for smartphones, in this case for Android phones. What kind of knowledge will the kids take away from this camp? We're really hoping to get some I guess just basics of computer science, so the foundations of computer science, and a lot of that is based on problem solving and knowing that you can do many different things with computer science and you can enter a lot of different fields with computer science, so we really just want to build that base knowledge so that they'll have an interest as they continue to go through school and maybe even consider computer science as a career. What's going on here at the camp? Well, we bring in students from uh, all over the state of Indiana and oftentimes all over the nation too uh, to come here and kind of get excited about computer science. We do a lot of different computer science activities where students can create their own projects and just really ideally hopefully get kids pumped up to become a Purdue computer science major in the future. What's going on in this lab? Well, the kids are using a program called Alice, and it's a free uh, download from alice.org, and so they can use it when they get home. But basically, they're using three-dimensional objects and object-oriented programming uh, to create worlds. And specifically for our camp, there has been a crime committed, and they're using the program to recreate what they think happened in the crime and who the, sus who the suspect they think uh, committed the crime. We're doing a crime scene investigation, so we have 10 suspects, and they've done Done some pretty bad stuff so we've been given some clues and information about those characters and so we're supposed to try to use this program to show our idea of what actually happened and what we think happened and who we suspect. What's it been like working with these kids? It's been really exciting because a lot of them came in not knowing how to program at all and to see the things that they've created um, and get excited about creating. Uh, it's been really rewarding for me and uh, I think that they'll take a lot of these skills back with them either to their homes, to their schools, and maybe someday uh, end up here at Purdue University as a computer scientist. One of the things we try to do in these camps is, is we're, not, we're not really trying to train them to be Android phone programmers or to teach them any specific technology. What we're really trying to do is engage them and excite them in the fun and, and excitement of computer science. There you have it. These junior cyber sleuths of today could just turn out to be the next high-tech crime fighters of tomorrow. For Boiler Bites, I'm Beatrice Burston.